How are you? I think all of you are very fine. I am Y.K. Sharma here to teach you chemistry. I am going to discuss about the most important chapter 2 that is called Acid, Base and Salt. Now boys, there is great importance of this Acid, Base and Salt in your life. You have seen so many substances that is they are mango, mango is acidic substance. Which acid is found in this mango? Citric acid. Lemon juice. Lemon juice is also acidic in nature. Now, vinegar. In vinegar, acidic acid is found in that acid. Now, uh, so many substances you can take the example. Now, there are two concepts of acid and base. How will you define it? There are two concepts of acid and base. First is classical concept of acid. What is this? Classical concept of acid. In this definition of acid, you will learn about the definition of acid on the basis of physical and chemical characteristics. Okay? So, what is the nature of acid? That is, first, acids are those substances which are shower in taste. What are these? Which are shower in taste. Okay? Now another property which are corrosive in nature. Which are corrosive in nature. Okay? These are the classical concepts. Third is they are completely miscible or soluble in water. Soluble in water in all proportions. All acids are completely miscible with water in all proportions. Okay? Now, they are, they can conduct the electricity. They can conduct the electricity when? When they are found in their aqueous form. These are the physical characteristics. Okay? And what is the effect of litmus paper on the solution? When you will pour blue litmus paper, you will see that it turns, it turns red. Blue litmus turned into red. These are the classical concept. Once again, they are sour, they are corrosive in nature, they are soluble in water in all proportion, they can conduct the electricity in the aqueous form and they turn blue litmus to red. These are the classical concept of acid. Okay? Now let us see. Another uh, concept of acid is Arrhenius concept. What is this? Arrhenius concept. Another is Arrhenius concept. Okay? Of acid. What is the concept? Now in each and every acid, you will see that acids are those substances those substances which produce H plus ion in the aqueous solution how can we define it? that acids are those substances which can, which can produce H plus ion in the aqueous solution. Let us see the example. For example, HCl in aqueous solution, it will produce H plus ion plus Cl minus ion. Now you have to write aqueous. What do you mean by aqueous? Aqueous means the solution in which water is used as a solvent. They are called as aqueous solution. And if water is not used as a solvent, then what term is used? Non-aqueous solution. Okay? So, in aqueous solution, hydrogen chloride will produce H plus ion. Similarly, HNO3, HNO3, it will produce what? H plus and NO3 minus ion. NO3 means nitrate ion. This is called nitrate ion. Okay? It is here. Now, same process in case of H2SO4, what will form? 2H plus. 
2H plus plus SO4 2 minus. SO4 what is the name of SO4 2 minus? That is called sulfate ion. Sulfate ion. Okay? And H2SO4 is sulfuric acid, you know well. Sulfuric acid. It is clear? Similarly, you can take so many examples. I am giving you the another acid that is HCOOH. What is the name of the, this acid? This is called formic acid. What is the name? This is called formic acid. Okay? Formic acid will produce what? HCOO minus plus H plus. Okay? HCO minus is known as formatine. What is the name? Formatine. It is clear? Now, CH3COOH. What is the name of this acid? This is called acetic acid or ethanoic acid. Acetic acid. Acetic acid will produce what? CH3COO minus plus H plus ion. What is the name? That is called acetate ion. CH3CO minus ion is called acetate ion. So in all the acids, you are observing that all these acids are producing H plus ion in the aqueous solution. That is why they are called acid. So this is the Arrhenius concept of acid that acids are those substances which can produce H plus ion in the aqueous solution. Is it clear? Okay. Now let us see one more thing you have to keep in mind that uh, in case of acid, one term is used basicity of an acid one term is used basicity of an acid what do you mean by basicity of an acid basicity of an acid depends upon the number of replaceable H plus ion in the aqueous solution okay whatever H plus ion produces in the aqueous solution that will be the basicity of that acid for example hydrogen chloride is producing 1 H plus. That is why its basicity is called 1. And if the basicity is 1, then it is known as monobasic acid. What is called? Monobasic acid. If your question is asked that, give the example of monobasic acid, that will be the example of HCl. HCl will be the monobasic acid. Okay? Similarly, HNO3. Can you tell me what is the basicity of that acid? Although it is also producing 1 H plus ion, hence its basicity is 1. So it is also the example of monobasic acid. It is clear? Now it is producing 2 H plus ion. So the, its basicity will be 2. Hence it is the example of or it is called dibasic acid. Why it is called dibasic acid? Because it is producing 2H plus ion in the aqueous solution. That is why it is called dibasic acid. Another example, HCOH. What will be the basicity of that acid? It is producing 1H plus ion. Hence its basicity is 1. And that, will, that is the reason. It is known as monobasic acid. Okay? It is also known as mono basic acid. It is clear? Now, acetic acid, come on. Acetic acid, it is also producing H plus ion. Hence, its basicity is also 1. And that will be the example of monobasic acid. I think all of you are clear that what do you mean by basicity of an acid? Basicity of an acid depends upon the number of replaceable ion H plus ion in the aqueous solution. Whatever H plus ion is producing in the aqueous solution, that will be the basicity of that acid. H plus ion, HCl, 1H plus, HNO3, 1H plus, H2SO4, 2H plus, HCOH, 1H plus, CH3COH, 1H plus. That is why they are called as mono as well as dibasic acid, which depends upon the number of replaceable H plus ion in the aqueous solution. Okay? Now, these are the Arrhenius concept of acid. Okay? Now, one of the most important thing, 
These are two definitions that is classical concept and Arrhenius concept. Okay? Similarly, there are two concepts of basis. Basis. Um, basis. What classical concept of basis? Classical concept of basis. Okay? Now, these all are depending upon the physical and chemical characteristics of that basic base. Okay? So, I will discuss later on. I hope that all the points are clear in this video. Thank you very much. I will see you.